it is time for the Good Day game that has all of Hollywood lined up around the block to play people. Cody standing by with another edition of Masquerades. Now our next guest on Masquerades just ran off the set to oh. join us to oh. play Masquerades. Oh. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's oh, working this, this morning. Okay. Uh, here she is right now. Can you hear us okay? I can hear you. Excellent. Okay, we can hear you too. All right, so this is our friend right here. Okay. So this is how the game works. Uh, she's going to act out a phrase. She has 30 seconds. You guys get to guess it. And okay. the folks at home, if you'd like to play as well, you guys close your eyes real quick. Okay. And we'll show up. The secret phrase is... Okay, now get rid of it. Okay, now oh, you guys can shoot. open your eyes. Okay. okay. Okay, you got 30 seconds. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. All right. I, okay. Oh, uh, what's the matter? Go. 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 I'm thinking, what, did they see what I just saw? Because I thought that's what I was doing. No, that's what you're doing. I made them close their eyes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, go. Okay, it's a movie. Movie? Movie. movie. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Picture. Uh, picture. Picture. Mm -hmm. picture. Mm -hmm. picture. Oh, yeah. star. Oh, star. Mm -hmm. Movie. Actor. Star. Actor. Actor. Director. Director. Writer. Director. Movie director. 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 You did it! Within 10 seconds, that was amazing! Yes. It's uh, Christy Will Wolf. She is a movie director. By the way, if you want to feel lazy, just look up her IMDb page, and you will feel <laughs> terrible about what you've been doing with your time. So let's talk a little bit about uh, your life in, in the movie industry and stuff. This year, how many films have you, have you made? I am currently on my six. Like, if we start the pandemic year, when the pandemic uh -huh. hit and it opened up for business, so I'm starting my sixth since uh, last June. Good that grief. is crazy. That is crazy. That's more than any man or woman director, right? I think so, apparently, yeah. You are yeah. killing it. You are killing it. Now, you do a lot of work with Hallmark. Uh, we are big fans of the Hallmark Christmas oh, movies here yeah. on the show. Mm -hmm. And our friend John plays a game. We play lots of games on this show. Yes. Where he tells us, is it real or made up? John, give her one of your titles and see if she'll be interested in publishing or maybe you know, oh, producing or directing one of your too? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, okay, let me find one here. Hang on. I had to go. Uh, okay, uh, this one is called, oh, I forget if this one I made up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm so glad uh, I gave you advance okay, notice. Sorry. Uh, uh, it's called A Family for Christmas. Okay, A Family a for family Christmas. A Family for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Let me find the synopsis for it. Hang on. Sorry, guys. I had it, and then I screwed it up. <laughs> so no, I'm guessing if he's lying or if this is actually a title. Well, this is one he made up. This is just, one that I made up. if you'd be interested in making this film. Whoa. Well, the title, I think, needs work. A Family for Christmas. I would have to dig into that title. <laughs> A little bit. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> Take notes. Take uh, notes. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Here, here's, here's the synopsis I wrote. Uh, uh. Uh, widowed ad exec Jake moves back into his hometown with his two young sons where he reconnects with the childhood sweetheart Kelly, who is also a single parent. The two get cozy organizing her bookstore's annual Christmas event in A Family for Christmas. Now, that, there, there's mm -hmm. a movie. Okay. That's a movie. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I'm so, like, you know how flattered I am by that? Like, <laughs> and, you know, I gave you an elevator pitch for her, and you blew it. Yeah, sorry. I, I, I ended up clicking on another it. line, and I, sorry, I, yeah. I blew it. You blew it. But I love the like, merging of the families. Now I get the family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you worked with some some really famous picture, uh, people. Uh, yeah, you produced Christmas in Wonderland with Patrick Swayze back in the day. Can you give us a Patrick Swayze story? Oh, Swayze. Okay, I'll give you a Swayze story. First of all, he was the most incredible human being. Um, he was so supportive of me back then because at that point I wasn't directing. I was a producer on that and doing the EPK, mm -hmm. the behind the scenes and an inspiring director. But um, a scene for a, a memory with him is that I got to know him pretty well doing this EPK. And um, he asked to meet me. Everyone was trying to hound him to do a Ghost 2, a sequel to Ghost. Uh -huh. And there was a producer that I had known who was like, you have an in with him, can we meet? So I had to take him to this meeting in, uh, in Los Angeles. And it was crazy. I remember walking in and just the whole place got flooded with people. Um, and I was his bodyguard and I literally had to push them away and get them into a corner. And I, I just thought it was pretty amazing. Also going into his house and I remember it dawned on me when I saw all the posters on the wall. And then it was just like, oh my gosh, there's Dirty Dancing. And I was like, this is Patrick Swayze. Because didn't, I didn't really connect with you. It's so great. Now, we, we, we've established that you've, you've done six movies in this past year. 
That's you work incredible. so much. Now, here's the thing that I find absolutely incredible. You're a single mom of two girls. How do you? I am. I'm not going to say how do you pull this off because you're, you're very good at your job. What I want to know is, being a single mom, I believe that that would make a great director. There should be more single moms as director. You can boss people around. You can get them there and do all that stuff. Yes, it's true. If you talk to my crew right now, if we win out, like I get a Mama Wolf or Mama Will, like they're always because <laughs> sometimes I talk to them like I talk to my children <laughs> in a respectful way, but it definitely comes in handy because I'm a kind of a drill surgeon sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. And one last thing, our directors here, I took a poll of our directors at this at this our show right here, and they said the best part of their job is bossing the talent around. Is that the best part of your <laughs> <laughs> I feel like normally I'm cracking jokes. Like I'm at a point now that I just feel so fortunate to do what I do. So I love to crack jokes with them. And I do want to tell you that I have a movie premiering. Do you oh. know this? No, no, no. Tell us. So tomorrow on the Hallmark Channel is Chasing Waterfalls. And it's with Cindy Busby and Chris Russell. It's their follow up to a movie we had Love in the Forecast, like the same two. And it's an amazing, so you'll, it's, it's premiering, kicking off their spring flings. So that's tomorrow, uh, Saturday, March 20th, uh, Chasing right. Waterfalls. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. You are amazing, seriously. Keep working, keep doing it. Keep doing yeah, thank it. Thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it. There you go. All right, we'll be back with more on the show. Don't go away. <laughs>